Jaguars. The punter Logan Cook set to start the proceedings, and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Dalton right to the air. There's Chris Olave. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. So Dalton now. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And some room to run now. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. So first and 10 now from the 30. This will be Dalton again. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Dalton operating in the red zone now. And he's got it. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Dalton. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Foyasade American. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity, lost. And they'll start on the ground, ETN. That's a room to maneuver. Nifty move. And all the way down to the 35. A big hitter there from deep in their own territory. 65 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. The slot man in motion right. On first down, right back to ETN. And he's got Rome. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 85 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot. The touchdown! Evan Ingram, a 15-yard touchdown Brown. And the Jaguars use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going, looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jaguars are going to have great field position here as this is returning just shy of midfield. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. 
Now ETN to start the drive. Paulson to Debo up to make the stop. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From midfield now, Lawrence. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run with ETN. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll go again with ETN. And tough sledding. They'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown, Jack. Two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. That one good for 26 and a first down. From midfield here, Dalton. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kamara. 
And this one is incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Got an open man, it's Alave. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 34-yard line. Another chance for Dalton. And his throw is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Dalton. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's Devin Lloyd with a pick. I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three intercepts.